Would you use period blood as a face mask? A lot of women seem to be curious about period face masks. So let's find out if this weird beauty trend is actually good for your skin or not. Beauty trends are just that, trends. They come and go. And a lot of times we don't even remember which fruit or vegetable was chosen as the star of a skincare or hair care product. Among weird beauty trends, period blood or menstrual cycle remnants for a face mask or moon masking as it has been labeled definitely tops the list. The hashtag period face mask has been trending online for a while now. As the name suggests, it is a face mask made from your own period blood. Yuck. Many young women are creating the DIY face mask, taking photographs and putting them up on social media. While some are bold or experimental enough to try out this weird beauty trend, others are curious to know about period face masks. So keep watching this video to find out if they actually work. There has been an increase in life expectancy. So middle-aged and elderly people comprise a substantial percentage of the population worldwide. Skin rejuvenation methods have become very popular as aging often manifests itself in the human skin. A lot of people who don't rely on homemade or DIY face masks, they go for fillers or laser therapy to look younger. But there are some who look for easier and less expensive beauty treatments to keep their skin glowing and healthy. In search for such treatments, some women experiment with things that are easily available in their kitchen cabinet, in their bathrooms, or their gardens. Well, in this scenario, what you may be looking for or what some may be looking for is actually found inside your body that excretes outward. All you have to do is collect your period blood and keep it in a container. Then smear it all over your face. You might think it's unhygienic, but the women who apply period blood on their face do it in the hopes of getting glowing skin. But there are risks that can pop up from trying out this weird beauty trend. Well, here's the thing. Period blood face masks may have come from something that we have heard of in the very recent past called vampire facials because there is a beauty treatment that uses blood. Remember the time when Kim Kardashian did images on her Instagram for her followers after getting the vampire facial? Well, that beauty treatment happens to use human blood. And it uses human blood called platelet-rich plasma. And the vampire facial uses that blood, which is taken from the vein, then processed in such a manner that it can give what is known to be a beautiful effect for the skin. And it's chosen by women who are looking for anti-aging and anti-pigmentation treatments. Per the American Academy of Dermatology Association, platelet-rich Plasma can possibly reduce wrinkles, plump up sagging skin, get rid of deep creases in the skin and improve your complexion and even diminish acne scars. But period face masks can be dangerous. So when something new comes out, especially in the beauty industry, many people want to try it out, especially when it comes to things that people may see on TikTok, Instagram, just social media overall. But it's not always wise to follow beauty trends blindly as they can be very dangerous. According to doctors, it's not safe to use period blood as a face mask. In fact, it can lead to some dangerous skin infections. Especially, think about it, if you already have, hate to go there, a vaginal or cervical infection. So if you put that blood on your face, it can cause other skin infections on your face as well. And platelet-rich plasma is processed using period blood 
that is excreted directly from your body and putting this on your face is something that is highly risky and not suggested to do. One may assume that since both of these therapies use human blood, the effects on your skin should be the same. But menstrual blood that is now being promoted as a beauty treatment cannot be used in the same manner. Applying blood on the skin is not going to go deep inside and it is not equivalent to any injection therapy. And even before going for a vampire facial, you definitely want to make sure that you have gotten a professional consultation to make sure that this is something that's going to be worth it for you and worth the risks because even with a vampire facial or a platelet rich plasma, you are using human blood. Blood that is being extracted from the veins to be applied to the skin. And this comes with risks as well. But using period blood or menstrual cycle excretions for your face, when there are so many methods of treatments, therapies, and skincare products and amazing ingredients that will help your skin is not recommended at all to replace these other therapies that are ready and available to you and definitely not as risky as using menstrual cycle excretions or period blood for your face. Look, it may look cool for someone to smear this all over their face and do it for a TikTok video or a YouTube video or an Instagram reel or post to get the views, to get the comments, to get the shock and awe. But is it worth it to risk your face by doing something like this that was the thought of someone who probably thought that, well, a vampire facial or platelet rich plasma is blood so why not use my period blood wouldn't it be the same thing i'm sure someone probably had that thought behind it when they thought of this idea and decided to share it with the world and it became something that went viral but think about it guys just because something goes viral doesn't mean that you should involve yourself in it it doesn't mean that it's something that you should risk your skin and go under this risky treatment. So using caution when it comes to viral moments to try things out with your skin is highly recommended. It may be fun to look at. It may be even a shocking thing to look at such as a train wreck. You cannot help but look at it even though you should turn away. And I say that this is probably something that you should turn away from because it is extremely risky and not recommended. And honestly, guys, let's just be real for a moment. Period blood is not something that even really smells the best. Let's just be honest. Period blood comes from a private area. I am not saying that it is the worst smelling thing in the world, and I'm also not saying that every skincare product that you use smells like roses and smells very fragrant and smells amazing because there are definitely some products and some ingredients that do not have the best scent but when it comes to skincare you really have to be cognizant of these things and using something that is excreted from the body during a time of the month when a woman is going through a process that the body is expelling things from the uterus that was not used because when a woman is expecting a baby they will not go through their menstrual cycle because that blood is used to line the uterus and to help keep the baby secure that is developing in the uterus so when that does not happen, the body is expelling not only just the blood, but there are other things that are being excreted as well. And I'm trying to be as PG as possible when it comes to this. So with all of those things being said, you really should 
mark an X when this is <laughs> discussed and whether you should try this out, I would say this would be a hard no. Do not try, do not attempt, and leave this one for the social media nuts that want to draw views, attention, and get people with shock and awe.